today's topic is from compound angles. In today's video, we are going to find out the values of sin 75 degrees, cos 75 degrees, tan 75 degrees. And the next question is sin 15 degrees, cos 15 degrees, tan 15 degrees. And sin of 105 degrees, cos of 105 degrees and tan of 105 degrees. So, using the compound angle, the first solution is for finding sin 75 degrees, I am using a formula that is a sine of, so this is sine of, this is A plus B is equal to, as you know that, this is a sine A into cos B plus this is cos A into, this is a sine B. So, clear? So, in this, if I keep angle A is equal to 45 degrees. So, A value as 45 degrees and B value as 30 degrees. So, in this, if I substitute and proceed, then this will be sine of, in place of A, I am writing 45 plus in place of B, I am writing 30. So, this will be sine 45 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus this is cos of 45 degrees into sine of, the value here is 30 degrees. Clear? So, this will be sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees is nothing but 75 degrees. And sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Clear? And the next one cos 30 degrees is nothing but root 3 by 2. Plus cos 45 is again 1 by root 2. And sine 30 degrees is nothing but half. So sine 75 degrees is equal to. So if I multiply the numerator, this will be root 3 by 2 root 2. And if I multiply the numerator, this will be 1 by 2 root 2. Therefore, sine 75 degrees is equal to, this is root 3 plus 1 by, this is 2 root 2. So, we got the value of uh, sine 75 degrees as root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. Clear? And the next one, for finding cos 75 degrees, we have, see here. For finding cos, we are using the compound angle cos of A plus B. So, cos of A plus B is equal to, this is cos A into, this is cos B minus, this value is a sine A into sine B. Clear? So, again I am going to substitute the value of A as uh, 45 degrees. So, A value I am taking as 45 and B value as 30 degrees. If I substitute then this will be cos of. So, this is cos of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to this is cos 45 degrees into this is cos 30 degrees minus this is sin 7, 45 degrees into sin the value here is 30 degrees. And the next one cos of 45 plus 30 is nothing but 75 degrees is equal to cos 45 degrees is nothing but 1 by root 2. Cos 30 value is nothing but this is root 3 by 2 minus sin 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 and sin 30 degrees is half. Therefore, cos 75 degrees is equal to if I multiply the numerator, this will be root 3 by 2 root 2. So, this is 1 by this value is 2 root 2. So, if I take 2 root 2 as LCM, so this will be, so 2 root 2 as LCM, this will be root 3 minus 1. So, we got the value of cos 75 degrees as root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 and sin 75 degrees value as root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and again we need tan, so this is tan 75 value. So, we need for getting tan 75 degrees. We need tan 75 degrees. For that, I am using the compound angle as tan of. So, this is tan of A plus B is equal to this value is tan A plus this value is tan B by 1 minus this is tan A into this is tan B. So, in this, I am taking A value as 45. So, A as 45 degrees and B value as 30 degrees. So, then this is going to become, so this value is 
tan 75 degrees is equal to tan of this is 45 plus 30 is equal to in place of A I am writing 45 and in place of B as 30 by 1 minus this is tan 45 into the value tan 30 degrees. So tan 45 plus 30 value is nothing but 75 degrees is equal to what is tan 45 this is 1. So tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3 by so this is 1 minus so what is uh, tan 45 1 and tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. So tan 75 degrees value is equal to. So if I take root 3 as LCM, this will be root 3 plus 1. And again, if I take root 3 as LCM in the denominator, this will be root 3 minus 1. So if I cancel this one, our tan 75 degrees value is equal to, this value is root 3 plus 1 by, this is root 3 minus 1. So, this is the value of tan 75 and therefore from the above, so we got sin 75 degrees as root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2, clear? And next one, cos 75 degrees is nothing but root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 and the next one tan 75 degrees so you can remember like this sin theta by cos theta if you cancel the denominator so this will be root 3 plus 1 by this is root 3 minus 1 so these are the solutions of uh, sin 75 degrees cos 75 degrees and tan 75 degrees and it is also very easy to follow the second solution and this is also so important so this is sin 15 cos 15 and tan 15 so for sin 15 cos 15 and tan 15 so again i'm using the compound angle that is sin of a minus b value is equal to this is sin a into cos b minus this is cos a into this value is sin b. So in this I am going to substitute a value as 45, a value as 45 degrees and b value as 30 degrees. So if I substitute then this will become sin of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees is equal to this is sin 45 degrees into this value is cos 30 degrees minus cos of a value is 45 into this value is a sign of 30 sign of 30 this value is a sign of 45 minus 30 degrees is 15 degrees is equal to sign 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 into cos 30 degrees is 1 by root 3 by 2 so this is root 3 by 2 and cos 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 and sign 30 degrees is nothing but half so if i multiply this is sin 15 degrees is equal to this is root 3 by 2 root 2 minus this is 1 by 2 root 2. Therefore, we got the value of sin 15 degrees as root 3 minus 1 by this value is 2 root 2. Clear? So, we got the value of uh, sin 15 degrees as root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. And uh, similarly, cos. So, again I am taking cos compound angle that is cos of A minus B is equal to this is cos A into this is cos B plus this value is cos A into cos B into this value is sin A into this is sin B. And next one in this if I take A angle A as 45 degrees and angle B is equal to 30 degrees then see if I substitute then this will become cos of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees is equal to this is cos 45 degrees into cos 30 degrees plus this value is sin 45 degrees into the value sin 30 degrees this is sin 30 degrees so cos of 45 minus 30 is nothing but cos 15 degrees is equal to cos 45 degrees is equal to 1 by root 2 and cos 30 degrees is equal to this is root 3 by 2 plus sin 45 degrees is equal to 1 by root 2 so and uh, sin 30 degrees is equal to half 
and therefore cos 15 degrees is equal to this is root 3 by this is 2 root 2 plus this is 1 by 2 root 2 and therefore cos 15 degrees is equal to this value is root 3 plus 1 by this value is 2 root 2. So we got the value of cos 15 degrees and the next thing here is so we have to find out tan 15 degrees. So again for tan 15 degrees we are using the compound angle of tan. So this is tan of a minus b is equal to as you know that this is tan a minus tan b by 1 plus this value is tan a into tan b. So in this I will keep the value of a as so a as a, again 45 degrees angle a is equal to 45 degrees and angle b is equal to 30 degrees. So if I substitute then this will be tan of 45 minus 30 is equal to this value is tan 45 minus this value is tan 30 by this is 1 plus this is tan 45 into the value here is tan 30. Tan 30. And therefore tan 45 minus 30 the value here is tan 15 degrees is equal to tan 45 is 1. So, tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3 by this is 1 plus tan 45 is 1 and tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So, tan 15 degrees value is equal to, so if I take root 3 as LCM, then this will be root 3 minus 1. So, again, if I take root 3 as LCM, this will be root 3 plus 1. So, if I cancel these, then tan 15 degrees is equal to this is root 3 minus 1 into this value is root 3 plus 1 and therefore from solution 2 we got the value of uh, sine 15 degrees as so this value of sine 15 degrees as this is root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 and next one cos 15 degrees as this is root 3 plus 1 by this is 2 root 2 and next one tan 15 degrees as root 3 minus 1 by this value is root 3 plus 1. So this is a sine 15, cos 15 and tan 15. In the third solution see here for the third solution so tan what is the third question? Third question we have to find out sine 105, cos 105 and tan 105. For getting the third solution, so for solution 3, for sine 105 degrees, so as you know that sine of 180 minus theta is nothing but sine theta. So in this, if I keep theta is equal to, so theta angle if I take as uh, 75, then this will be sine of 180 minus 75 is equal to the value is sine 75 degrees. So this is sine 180 minus theta. 180 minus 75 is nothing but 105 degrees is equal to sine 75. So as you know that sine 75 degrees I am showing sine 75 degrees is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. Therefore, sine 105 is equal to sine 75 degrees is nothing but root 3 plus 1 by this is 2 root 2. So, this is how we got the value of sine 105. Similarly, for cos 105, so for getting the cos 105 value, cos 105 value, so I am taking cos of 180 minus theta is equal to this is minus cos theta. So in this if I take the angle theta as 75 degrees see what happens here. So this will be cos of 180 minus 75 is equal to minus cos 75 clear. 
So cos 180 minus 75 is nothing but cos 105 degrees is equal to minus cos 75 degrees. So what is cos 75 degrees? So cos 75 degrees is nothing but root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. So therefore cos 105 degrees is equal to minus of root 3 minus 1 by this value is 2 root 2. Clear? And the next one here is tan 105. For, for finding the value of uh, tan 105 degrees, again I am using tan of 180 minus theta is equal to minus tan theta. Minus tan theta. So if I take the angle as 75 degrees, so theta is 75 degrees, then this will be tan of 180 minus 75 degrees is equal to minus tan of this value is 75 degrees. So therefore tan of 105 degrees is equal to minus tan of 75 degrees. This is minus of what is tan 75 degrees? Tan 75 degrees is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1. So this value is root 3 plus 1 by this is root 3 minus 1. So if I multiply with minus, so this will be, I am writing this as 1 plus root 3 by 1 minus root 3. So this value is nothing but tan of 105 degrees. So this is how we have to find out tan 105, sin 105 and cos 105. And therefore we got sin 105 as root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 cos 105 as 1 minus root 3 by 2 root 2 and tan 105 as 1 plus root 3 by 1 minus root 3 and therefore so in today's video so we found the values of see I am showing sine 45 yes the values here I am writing clearly that is sine 75 degrees so the value here is sine 75 degrees this value is cos 75 degrees and the next one this value is tan 75 degrees clear and in the second solution we got the value of sine 15 degrees this is cos 15 degrees and the next one here is tan 15 degrees so the next one is sine 105 degrees this is cos 105 degrees and this value is tan 105 degrees please remember so I am showing you the values so the first thing is you have to remember that is tan 75 so this value is root 3 plus 1 by so this is root 3 plus 1 by this value is 2 root 2 and again if there is plus here for cos this will be root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2 and again for tan sin theta by cos theta this will be root 3 plus 1 by this is root 3 minus 1. Clear? In the next video, we got the values of sine 15 degrees, cos 15 degrees and tan 15 degrees. Clear? Sine 15 degrees is quite opposite to this one. If there is plus here, so we have to start with minus. That is root 3 minus 1 by this is 2 root 2. And cos, for cos 15, 75 here it is minus then this will be plus root 3 plus 1 by this is 2 root 2 and again tan 15 is nothing but sine by cos that is root 3 minus 1 by this is root 3 plus 1 and similarly for 105 degrees so for 105 degrees this will be root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and next one this is 1 minus root 3 by this is 2 root 2 and next one cos theta by sin theta this is 1 plus root 3 by this is 1 minus root 3. So it is very easy to remember. Sine 75 and sine 15 are same but differs in the sign in the numerator. So in sine 75 is nothing but root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. Cos 75 is nothing but root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. Tan 75 degrees is nothing but sine theta by cos theta. Root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1. In sine theta, see here, if there is plus here, so we have to start with minus. Sine 15 degrees is nothing but root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. Cos 15 degrees is nothing but root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. 
tan 50 degrees is nothing but sin theta by cos theta root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1 and here sin 105 degrees is nothing but see here these two are same root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 cos 105 degrees differs in a negative sign 1 minus root 3 by 2 root 2 and tan 105 degrees is equal to 1 plus root 3 by 1 minus root 3. So these are the most important values which are very useful for solving many more problems. So in this compound angle I am going to solve many important questions. Please do follow these videos and it will be very helpful for your examination. If you really like you know what to do please subscribe and pass it on to your friends. Thank you so much.